Hello, I'm Panos Kozathanasis, and this is Bad Accent Video Reviews. Today we're gonna speak about another anime, Windbreaker, by director Toshifumi Akai and uh, Studio Cloverworks. A 2024 title that uh, has had uh, quite an impact this year in what is shaping to be a really impressive year overall. So uh, the title deals with school gangs in a style that reminds more of uh, Takashi Miki's Crow Zero than Tokyo Revengers, for example, particularly due to its simplicity, since it is definitely not as uh, uh, intriguing, let's say, as Tokyo Revengers, which is quite layered in its story. Nevertheless, I will start with uh, the story as I read from a Nubia Jade Prize's written review on Asian Movie Pulse. Uh, Windbreaker tells the story of Sakura Haruka, a recent transfer to Furin High School. As your classic hot headed main character with little guidance, he quickly finds himself clashing with those around him. However, a fight seems to be precisely what he's looking for, since Haruka came looking to become the best fighter at Furin, where strength is rumored to be valued above all else in a school that is supposedly the, the toughest in the whole country, again in an element that reminds of Krauser. However, there is something else going on in the area, since the students of the school after a period where fighting was happening all around the neighborhood and the area, they have decided to take up the role of protectors of the locals against any outside force. Not to mention the fact that they help with chores and whatever the, the locals need. This is an interesting element in terms of uh, narrative, but it's actually one of the few. The biggest problem with the story is concerns the characters, since even the protagonist, I felt that he's not particularly interesting, especially since his past and his reasons for doing what he is doing are not exactly presented eloquently, let's say. And uh, in the end, this strips strips the whole title for some kind of guidance, some kind of uh, direction, let's say. Uh, at the same time, okay, there are some comments here about uh, the lack of parenting and how kids shape as they have no guidance in life. As we can see in the anime, there are no parents present and uh, no teachers. The kids seem to be alone to fend for themselves. And this becomes, uh, becomes particularly evident in the case of Kotoha Tatsibana, the girl that immediately takes Haruk under her wing and adds and uh, runs a local restaurant of, of sorts. But she is soon revealed to be an underage kid, essentially, who comes from a foster home, uh, which also connects her with uh, Hazime Umemiya, the leader of uh, foreign school. And actually, this adds to the element I just mentioned about uh, the directionless kids. Uh, at the same time, this, let's say, kind of elaborateness, let's say, this kind of depth is also found uh, in uh, some of the characters the Bofuring gang face on their first bout against Sisitoren, another school, with uh, Chozi and Joto Gama emerging as almost uh, paranoid children sociopaths that seem to have violence in their blood and they are not, uh, they don't shy away from even hitting their own classmates in their constant search of power. This becomes quite interesting, but uh, at the same time, uh, the concept of, uh, one of the main concepts of the film is that fists and in the end violence can become a medium of dialogue that can change people. And the second one is that what we get from the from this first bout is that everyone is good in the end, and that uh, kids walk like the ones from uh, from the school uh, before in face are just uh, misguided kids and nothing else. Uh, I found the whole thing very unconvincing on par with uh, the whole walk culture and political correctness, and it doesn't make much sense, particularly in the way 
these characters start in the beginning. At the same time, what also does not work here are the awkward transitions from intense fighting to soul searching and school drama, let's say, with the intense aspects of comedy. This feels like a gimmick that kills any momentum or emotional investment that uh, derives from the battles and essentially throws off the pacing, particularly since the comedy does not work well at all. In that fashion, after the fight between the two schools, uh, violence is thrown off the window and we get to meet some new characters and a bit of school politics. But again, this does not generate any interest in the characters and definitely faults the story also. Uh, regarding the comedy, I found it very pedantic and particularly the silly faces which are which definitely become annoying even from the beginning and their extensive use is like, I don't know, it seems like the title only addresses kids or these very young adults to say the least. On the other hand, technical windbreaker is definitely on a very high level. Uh, Taishi Kawakami's character design is impressive throughout. With the, we have many characters, but they all stand out due to their different uh, characteristics in terms of uh, drawing. And um, this definitely works where Kawakami had a, different, a difficult job in his hands, but uh, he managed to do it to pass with flying colors. Uh, the protagonist, uh, the various villains we watch, uh, his comrades from the school are all very interestingly portrayed and uh, the general character design aspect is quite captivating. The same applies to the background, both in the schools or the other locations, what we see. And the presentation of the neighborhood is a combination of realism and utmost detail that also works quite well. The same applies to the animation by Cloverworth, with the movement of the characters being rather good, both in the calm moments and in the fighting scenes where as usually finds its apogee. But uh, for me, the most impressive scene in the movie, both in terms of equally in terms of animation, back row, uh, background drawing and uh, character design is the scene in the rain in the last part of the movie. As soon as you see, you will know what I'm talking about. And uh, the battles, particularly the ones between uh, the two schools are definitely astonishing, very entertaining to watch. Okay, there is this forced drama sense that we always find in Son and Anime with the fighting being interrupted in order to present the past of the characters through flashbacks and give them some depth. But uh, I felt that even this part works quite well for the battles. And there is also a notion that uh, all the characters, all the protagonists could lose, which definitely adds a sense of drama and agony that works additionally good for the fighting scenes. Okay, so in the end, Windbreaker is a series that uh, who, whoever comes for just for the fights and the action will probably stay, even though the fighting part is actually not as significant as the comedy and the drama, but the fights are are ra rather impressive. So I think the people who like action and general son and anime will find a lot to like here. But if you are searching for something more, you definitely have to look elsewhere. The uh, the title is streaming in Crutchroll and you can catch it there if you want. Um, in the end, it's a good binge watching that you will watch, enjoy the fighting scenes and then soon forget, at least if uh, the next seasons continue like that. Um, okay, so that was it also for today. This was Bad Accent Video Reviews. Thank you for being here and uh, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe our channel. See you soon again, probably tomorrow. Have a nice day.